Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I want to give you a full update on the peas that I planted oh, about two or three months ago. These are all started in peat pots indoors and transplanted into the containers. I'm also going to show you my ground planted peas and I'm going to harvest all of these and then show you each harvest by variety of pea and match them to their seed pack so you have an idea of what you might want to plant next year. First thing is Container peas work really, really well. Peas do fix their own nitrogen with a root system that uh, has nodules on it that work with bacteria and they can pull the nitrogen actually out of the air. But in a container, you can get in, there's one, two, three, four, I don't know, 12 or more vines in each of those. Oh, there's a ladybug. You can see it way back there. So you can really pack in the peas. They don't mind being packed into a space because they do pull their own nitrogen out of the atmosphere. I gave these a feeding when they were about halfway, about half the size with the liquid fertilizer just to give them the other nutrients. Trellising, let's talk about that first. Here are peas that I intentionally did not trellis and you can see that they hang over. They're early perfection variety and they're really, really fragile in that if they got knocked or pulled the stems are hollow, they would break off. So you do want to trellis your peas. And I trellis them pretty much by many different methods. This is a tomato cage in here. This is for the taller variety. A couple of sticks, bamboo, some jute. And you just want to contain them so that they get growing, going upward. And then they start, the tendrils will latch onto each other and it just makes a nice mass of peas that will go straight up to the top of your cage. And you do have to pay attention to the size. If you get full-size peas, you're going to have to do something with these tomato cages, just like this. And they work perfectly well. The peas are going to start dying out. If you notice down at the bottom, they're starting to yellow. And that just comes from the increase in heat and also the age of the peas. So their process is pretty much normal. But I, they're just loaded. I mean, there are hundreds of peas on all the plants. So I'm going to harvest these and show you them. You can just use plain poles like this. I only use two of them and to get them started I start with some jute down at the bottom and that's again to get the mass growing upward and once they all kind of latch together they just stay with the poles and go all the way up. Same thing here, some more poles. Really, really basic trellising, but you definitely want to trellis them. And just look at all the peas. Like I said, I'm going to go harvest those. Let me go show you the peas that I'm growing down in, or actually my earth beds. Both early perfection, one without a trellis and one with a fancier trellis. You can certainly use that. And you can just see all the peas are hanging nicely. Much easier to get to when it's trellised than trying to get down to the peas down there. But trellising does make a difference, and I just wanted to give you this, this example of the same variety, one without a trellis, and one trellis with something a little more fancy than sticks and tomato cages. You can cages. also set up a chicken wire fence like this and just grow your peas straight up that way. Again, these are my earth planted, or earth bed planted peas. And these two were also planted from peat pots. I didn't start any peas this year straight in the ground. And the reason you might do that is because when peas are able, as a plant, to get outside, the ground conditions aren't always the best for the seeds to actually germinate. And a lot of times they rot because the soil is cold and wet. So if you can get them germinated inside, in peat pots, and then put them out into your garden, your peas will get established, start growing much quicker. Coming around this side, this is just a mass of peas. And here, one of my favorite varieties is this purple potted And it's doing really well and it's actually my tallest pea plant out there. And that is taken care of by a tomato cage, some bamboo poles, and actually that's my cucumber trellis back there. I was hoping that it would attach to that, but it didn't. But again, they've grown up through the cage, attached to the sticks, attached to themselves, and the wind will not knock those down now. I also have more peas, shorter varieties on smaller stakes, growing in my railing. And one thing that I did to keep rabbits off is I let them grow straight up through chicken wire. Let me bring you around here. There's one more place that I have peas and that's in my sunken containers. And these are a shorter variety. 
I use these sunken containers. The bottoms are cut out for cucumbers and peas and probably green beans this year. And they're just tre well, it's trellising on a couple of a bamboo posts, not even any string or jute or anything like that. Just give them something to hold on to and they will stay upright. There's three ma main varieties of peas. You can break these down into subcategories and get more. But you have your sugar or snow peas, which are the immature peas in a flat pod. The pod and pea are completely edible. And these are typically what go, in snow uh, yeah, go into a stir fries. And these are your sugar or your snow type peas. And these are uh, mammoth melting sugar and Snowbird, two varieties that I do recommend. Then you have your snap peas. Anything that has the name snap in it is a snap pea, typically. And these are the peas that when you break them, they have a full shell, completely edible, and a mature sized pea. And they get their name because when you break them, they snap. So you got the snap peas, you got your sugar snow peas, and then you have your shelling peas. And these aren't quite ready yet. These mature first usually, these come in second, and then the shelling peas come next. And you can't eat the shell, that's why they're called shelling. But when you open them up, they've got great peas inside that you can just take out, pop in your mouth. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.